Hello students, welcome to another video lesson in the ICT for grade 7 series. In this second lesson for unit 3, I am going to talk to you about the internet. Let us start by looking at the objectives of today's lessons. After watching this video lesson till the end, you should be able to firstly describe what is meant by the internet, secondly name some services provided by the internet or we can say users of the internet, thirdly you must be able to describe what is meant by the world wide web that is the www and finally distinguish that is make the difference between the internet and the www. Let us start with the internet. What is the internet? Internet is made from the prefix inter and the word net. Inter in this context stands for interconnected. The word net comes from network, more precisely computer networks. To understand, recall a previous lesson where we learned about computer networks. A computer network is a group of computers or electronic devices that are connected together. Hence, the word internet means many computer networks connected together. Now we can answer the question, what is the internet? Internet stands for interconnected networks, that is a network of networks. The internet links millions of computers and networks all over the world. It is the largest computer network. We will now talk about the users of the internet. Once connected to the internet, we can get access to many services. The internet allows us to communicate through video conferencing, also known as teleconferencing, that is a meeting among people who are at different places, but who can see and hear each other. This is a topic we have already learned about in Unit 1. Another way to communicate is by electronic mail or email. We are going to learn about email in another lesson. We can also communicate by sharing messages, pictures and videos through social networks. Another important service we obtain from the internet is the ability to download. By connecting to the internet, we can download program files, apps and games. We can also download documents such as job application forms. or music and video clips as well. The internet provides many entertainment options. One of them is to play online games. Another way to entertain yourself is by listening to online music and live radios. By connecting to the internet, you can listen to all Mauritian radio channels from anywhere in the world. You can also access radio channels from different countries as well. Watching online movies is possible on an internet connected computer, tablet or smartphone. That is why many people are now buying smart TVs. A smart TV can connect to the internet services such as video on demand and TV on demand which is offered by many TV channels. In Unit 1, you learned about some other activities that make use of the internet. E-learning, that is learning using the internet to access educational resources. E-commerce, that is buying and selling of goods and services using the internet. And e-banking, that is making use of the internet to perform bank transactions. We just saw many users of the internet. But the most used and the most important service provided by the internet is the World Wide Web. This allows us to visit web pages from various websites. 
what is a www? The www is a collection of all websites and the web pages they contain. A web page may contain text as well as images, sound, video and animations. Web pages are connected to each other via links called hyperlinks. We can go from one page to another by clicking on a hyperlink. Going from one page to another is called surfing the www. Let us see an example of how hyperlink works. Here you see six web pages A, B, C, D, E and F. Web page A contains hyperlinks to web page C and web page E. This means if we are in web page A, we can go to web page C just by clicking on the hyperlink. From C, we can move to page F. From C, we can also go to page D. And then back to page A. Many people use the words internet and www as if they are the same thing. They are not. Let me explain to you why. Let us see the differences between internet and www. The internet is a huge network of networks. It spreads over the whole world. It consists of servers, computers, cables and computer programs. Special computers called web servers store information which can be accessed by computers connected to the internet. On the other hand, the World Wide Web is a collection of all web pages found on web servers in this global network. To view web pages, we need a software called a web browser. The web browser uses the internet to access the www and display web pages on the computer screen, tablet or smartphone. The www is only a subset of the internet, just like email and file transfer. Let us illustrate the relationship between the internet and the www. Consider the network of roads and highways. The internet is like the network of roads and highways. The buildings, shops, restaurants, malls, etc. are like websites. They are linked by the road network. The www is like the collection of everything that are sold in these buildings, shops, restaurants, malls, etc. Cars, trucks, bikes are like browsers. So surfing from one website to another would be like going shopping by car from one shop to another. We will now have a quick assessment. It will be a series of multiple choice questions consisting of four choices A, B, C and D. Read each question carefully and choose the most suitable answer. On for the first question. The internet is a blank network. A local, B global, C whole or D telephone. The answer is B. The internet connects computers over the whole world, hence it is global. 
question 2, which says that the internet is a network of A networks, B smartphones, C people or D companies. The answer is A. Internet means interconnected networks, that is a network of networks. Next comes question 3. By connecting to the internet, you can access many countries, servers, services or devices. The answer is C. The internet provides many services to connected computers as we will see in later questions. Question 4 now. Is a service provided by the internet? A. Downloading files. B. Email. C. Online gaming. Or D. All of the above. The answer is D. Downloading files, email and online gaming are all examples of services we can enjoy by connecting to the internet. Question 5. The most popular and most important service provided by the internet is A. E-banking, B. File transfer, C. Electronic mail, or D, the WWW. The answer is D again. The WWW is the most used service among all the services provided by the Internet. Question 6. The WWW is the of all websites and the web pages they contain. A. Connection, B. Correction, C. Collection or D. Collaboration. The correct answer is C. The WWW is all websites, web pages and all the contents put together. Let us see question 7. A web page may contain text as well as images, sound, video or all the above. A website may contain sound, images, video as well as text. Hence, the correct answer is D. Question 8. A connects a web page to another web page. A link, B hyperlink, C cable or D line. To go from one web page to another web page, we click on a hyperlink. This makes option B the correct answer. Another question. To view web pages, we need a software called a web browser, web server, web master or D web surfer. The only option in the list that is a software is option A, a web browser. So, A is the correct answer. Last question now, question 10. The web browser uses the to access the www and display web pages. A computer, B web server, C file server or D internet.
the correct answer is D, the internet which connects web servers which store all the contents of the websites and web pages. So that was the last question in the series. I hope you got all the questions correct. Let us now have a quick recap before we end this lesson. We saw that the internet stands for interconnected networks, that is a network of networks. The internet connects millions of computers all over the world. It is the largest computer network. Services offered by the internet. Once connected to the internet, we can get access to services such as the world wide web, electronic mail, file transfer from one computer to another, online music and video, sharing files over social networks. The World Wide Web The World Wide Web or WWW is a collection of all websites and the web pages they contain. A web page may contain text as well as images, sound, video and animations. Web pages or connected to each other via links called hyperlinks. Distinguish between the Internet and the WWW. The Internet is a global network that connects web servers. Web servers store websites and web pages. The WWW is a collection of all the web pages. A web browser travels across the internet going from web server to web server to fetch web pages you request and display them on the screen. With this, we come to the end of this video lesson on the internet. Thank you for watching till the end. I hope you enjoyed it. Until we meet for another video lesson, I wish you plenty of success in your studies. Goodbye.